So if we take Amazon Web Services, AWS, as our example public cloud provider, when we're spinning up EC2 instances, our servers, there are compute resources, we need to provide Amazon with an AMI ID or an Amazon machine image ID. We need to tell Amazon what operating system do we want? What AMI do we need? An AMI contains the operating system and, and everything above the operating system as well, right? So we tell Amazon, use this AMI. It spins up the EC2 instance for us based on that AMI. And then when we log in, that server is configured to a base level that we expect it to be because we gave it an AMI and we said, hey, we want the Ubuntu 18.04 or we want Windows Server 2018, or we want CentOS 7, so that when we log into that server, the state will be exactly as we expect it to be because we specified the AMI to use when building the server. Therefore, it will be in the state that we expect it to be in. So where does Packer come into this? Where does HashiCorp Packer come into this mix? Well, Packer can build those AMIs for us. So it is a tool, it's a very small tool, it's a very simple tool, yet it's an extremely powerful tool. And it can be used to manufacture AMIs for us and it can do very powerful things for us so that when our, AMI, our AMIs have been created, they're not just a base operating system. It can do more for us, it can run Ansible on those servers, it can run shell scripts on those servers. So the AMI can be filled with web server software. You can build an entire AMI with WordPress installed, ready to go. And, I'm, and indeed, in some of my advanced courses, I do actually go into details on building an AMI for a WordPress installation, for a WordPress network. So Packer is essentially how we produce AMIs, or state, if you like. AMIs effectively contain state, in a, in frozen in time, right? They're like a little box with state in it, frozen in time. And Packer is the tool that we use to do that. And the best thing about Packer is it lets us do all of this as code. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the JSON implementation of a, of a Packer template. And what you'll see there is that you now have your AMI described as code. We're going to use a very simple Ansible playbook to provision the AMI for us just to add in an extra tool so that when we then spin up an instance with our AMI, we can see that that tool is in place. And that will give us even more appreciation for developing our infrastructure and our configuration as code. So to summarize, HashiCorp's Packer makes a permanent record of state, and that state is stored in the form of an Amazon machine image. And that Amazon machine image is what we can then use to spin up EC2 instances in the future that look identical each and every time.